Hi everyone, welcome to my paper two IGCSE Ed Excel predictions video. So the first point I wanted to make is please don't stress if paper one felt like it didn't go as well as you hoped. It's human nature to actually be quite negative about things. Focus on areas which didn't go so well rather than looking at the answers that you did really well at. So please, 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 I don't want anyone sat there going, you know what, I'm not gonna revise for paper two because paper one went so poorly, so what's the point anyway? There are still tons and tons of marks available in paper two. I don't want you to throw away all that hard work you put into the last few years of revising, of prepping, whatever it is you've been doing. So please, please, please don't lose faith and make sure that you are revising nice and hard for paper two. So as we know, paper two means you can be examined on anything in the specification, but you really should be placing most of your emphasis on the paper two topics. So that includes looking at the kidney, making sure that you can differentiate between the kidney's role in osmoregulation, which is the control of blood water levels using the hormone ADH, as well as its roles involved in excretion, which in this particular case means the removal of urea from the kidneys. So you'll need to talk a lot about ultrafiltration and selective reabsorption when you discuss the excretion of urea. Do make sure you are perfectly clear on the differences between osmoregulation and excretion. You really don't want to confuse the kidneys' roles. And remember to have a look at those blood vessels which enter the kidney and the ones which leave. Now remember, if you need some additional help or you're really aiming for that grade nine, come join me on my paper two revision courses, which are in May half term, so the last week of May. Details are available on the website. These are online courses and I can really help boost your grade if you feel like you need that extra guidance. Remember those courses are recorded, so it doesn't matter what time zone you're in or if you can't make the whole course, it is not a problem. So what other paper two topics are likely to be important? Protein synthesis, so make sure you can differentiate the difference between DNA and RNA. Largely speaking, that's that DNA is double-stranded, RNA is single-stranded. DNA has the base thymine, RNA has the base uracil, DNA has the sugar deoxyribose, hence its name DNA. RNA has the sugar ribose, hence its name RNA. You do need to understand the meaning of words like codon, anticodon, tRNA, transcription, translation. I've got some excellent all-in-ones and more topic-specific videos that you can check out, as well as my revision guides. Now, don't neglect the fact that the paper two always starts with a long answer passage. And if you've seen me give my tips before, I always recommend actually starting at question two getting through the rest of the paper and then looking at how much time you have left at the end of the paper to dedicate to that long passage question one answer. The reason for that is because people are so nervous about what's coming up in the paper later on, they end up rushing through reading that passage, they don't take it all in and then they struggle to answer the questions that come with it. However, if you realise you've still got 20 minutes left, then that gives you a really nice amount of time to concentrate fully on the passage. They'll be looking for you to take information from the passage as well as combining it with your knowledge of the specification. I know topics like fish farming seem quite straightforward, but don't neglect them. Make sure you're happy with why fish farmers need to aerate their tanks to provide oxygen for respiration, why they need to remove feces to prevent the buildup of bacteria. So really do link how they fish farm with the reason for it. Why do they use selective breeding programs in order to increase the quality of the fish. These are all things you need to be pointing out. But yeah, as I say, paper two topics, do spend most of your time revising those and have a quick look over the rest of the paper one, concentrating specifically on the topics which didn't come up in the paper that you sat a few weeks ago. The nitrogen cycle is also a highly important topic. Do differentiate the differences between denitrifying bacteria and nitrifying bacteria nitrogen fixation, you're going to have to be really specific with your answers here because the mud schemes are quite cool. They'll give you zero if you haven't actually used the right bacteria. Make sure you're aware that nitrates are absorbed into the plant through the root hair cells by active transport. Be prepared to provide your definition of active transport. But good luck, best of luck with this exam. Come comment below and let me know how you got on because I love to see it.